Apple Pay allows you to add cards and make payments through your iPhone and iPad. It also enables NFC payments, easing the process of paying bills in stores by tapping your device at the POS machine. Besides, it also looks cool. But you may not be able to add a card to Apple Pay on iPhone and iPad? And, if you've been lately facing issues with adding cards to Apple Pay, this video might help you out. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is, make sure you have a proper internet connection. This can happen if you've enabled mobile data or Wi-Fi, but there's little bandwidth. This might be the main reason you aren't able to add cards. If Apple Pay is down from the server side, there's nothing you can do other than wait for the servers to be up and running. Here's how you can check the status of Apple services and Apple Pay. As you can see that everything is running fine from the Apple side. It is also important that if you have changed your device's region or Apple ID to an unsupported country, you will need to change it. To do so, open App Store. Then tap on Profile icon. Then tap on your name. Tap on Country or Region. Select your country and proceed. Many of us use VPNs on iPhone or Mac to protect our data on the internet and also to access region-restricted websites. The latter usually messes with our region settings, so disabling the VPN is recommended. Then disable VPN if it's there. It is a possibility that a software bug is preventing you from adding a card to Apple Pay. This software bug can be in the application or the operating system. However, you need not worry as Apple has a good track record of fixing bugs with regular software updates. So try software updating your iPhone or iPad if there's any. Disabling the iPhone password and then enabling it again has helped resolve this issue for several users. So try giving us try. To do so go to Settings, Face ID and Passcode. From here you can disable and re-enable the passcode. So give a try to all the mentioned steps and let me know in the comments section. So that's all about it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and enable post notifications. We'll be back with more videos of iPhone, so stay tuned. This is Peter Smith, see you soon in the next video.